Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Thursday the, <clears throat> the 17th of December, so we are very, very close to Christmas now. And it is about quarter past six in the morning. It's very, very early. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a sore throat. I've just arrived at work. I've got a couple of clients this morning and then I'm dashing back off home because I've got a gas engineer coming over. Stuff is getting done at the house. We have progress, so I'll give you all an update later when I'm at home. So I just thought I'd bring you along for the day with me, uh, take you to work, have a little bit of like a day in the life, a bit of a house update since we last spoke and show you some Christmas bits and bobs that I've been getting and preparing for the big day because I'm hosting um, this year which is really exciting you'll know that if you've seen a previous video so first client is at 6 30 so I need to get in and get set up and ready my mum's at home with Maddie so when I have these early starts my mum comes over to my house and is there ready to get Maddie ready and do the nursery run for me and then I'll go off to work um, and today I do finish late as well so she'll have to do pick up for me it is really hard when I don't get to see her at all and mum has to do drop off and pick up um like I won't see her at all today so she was still asleep when I left this morning and she'll be in bed by the time I get home tonight which really mm. got my Christmas jumper ready do 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 we're allowed to wear Christmas jumpers at work for the rest of December and I've got my face mask ready ready to go oh nearly ready to go ready to go So guys, back home now, been home for a couple of hours. I've just actually been watching the news because um, we've had an update on what areas are moving from tier two to tier three and vice versa. Yeah, in the UK, we're on a tiered system at the moment. Um, and we're staying tier two, Gloucestershire staying tier two, which to be honest, I didn't expect. I thought we were going to move up a tier because yeah, because apparently we've got high cases in the hospital, but we'll, we'll just keep going with it, seeing what happens. Um, the gas engineer has finished now. He's been over for the past couple of hours, hence why I didn't get my camera out because I got a little, a little bit shy. Um, but it's fixed a part in the boiler, which is great. This radiator still needs replacing because it's apparently it's got a lot of gunk at the bottom because the hot the top of it's the only bit getting hot. Um, and so it just needs completely replacing. But the new radiator hadn't arrived in time for him to do the work today. So fingers crossed the new radiator will be arriving soon. Both the toilets have been fixed now. Um, the flushes weren't working quite properly and they were taking forever to refill up. So that's now fixed. So yes, um, when I was saying there were lots of bits that needed doing to this house, I wasn't joking. <laughs> so I've now got about, uh, what time is it actually? I've got about an hour till I need to head back to work. So I thought I would just go through a couple of Christmassy bits with you that I've been getting. And then I've got two clients, an hour I'm gonna try and squeeze a workout in, and then another two clients. So as we go upstairs, I'm gonna show you guys Maddie's room because we've had a little bit of a rearrange. Um, as you know, Maddie's got this huge new room and it just felt so scarce and empty where uh, her furniture was. So we've had a little wiggle round. Hold on, I'll turn around and show you. So I've actually moved her bed into the center now, which I was a little bit nervous about because obviously she's always slept by a wall. So <laughs> you see we've got the emergency uh, cushions either side just in case she would have any accidents. Um, and she's sleeping so much better in this bed being like this. I think it feels... Although it's in the middle of the room, it feels cosier because the room feels more full and she's not so far away, stuck in the corner. There is still so much floor space for her to play in. Obviously, this is all going to get organised and moved into those drawers once I finish sanding and painting and lining them. But yeah, you can imagine, once this is clear, there's just so much floor space. But yeah, I've had a little bit of a wiggle around. So I think I'm going to leave the chest of drawers in that corner there. I quite like it. The bed's obviously staying here. Then I'm going to have this as like a little playing or reading nook. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to organise it yet. I might get a floor standing bookcase to just go along here, something that's not too deep. And then have that as more of like a play corner. Yeah, I'm a little bit undecided. And I think just getting a huge rug to help make the room a bit more cozy and fill the space. I found some amazing wall stickers that I'm going to put on here to turn this into a bit like a feature wall. And I think I'm gonna get her a canopy to go over her bed, just to fill that big empty wall up a little bit more and make the whole room 
feel more cozy, more full. Anyway, we'll go across to my room, give you an update of how I'm getting on in here. Ta da! The wall is still blue currently, <laughs> but I think I finally decided on what colour I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go for Purbeck, Purbeck, Purbeck White. It's a Farron Ball colour um, because it's it's like a a warm grey, but it's darker, so it will still create this feature wall kind of look. But I think it's just easier to go for something like that than try and go for something too bold. I'm having real deliberations about what to do with my bed because I don't like it. Um, I just feel like the grey, it's quite a silvery grey and I'm really not into silver. Um, it just feels a bit cold. So I don't know whether I will sell it or not at the moment. But yes, so managed to get some clothes in the wardrobe now. It's a little bit more organised. That's a load of Christmas stuff hiding. Um... Current layout, <laughs> dressing table and boxes and clothes and drawers and not enough space. So the issue I'm finding I'm having is that is that I love this kind of like dressing area with the mirror here and um, and having the dressing table around the corner. But I just feel like this is such a dead waste of space. It doesn't work. And I know I need to get bigger drawers. Because in my old room, these drawers were in the wardrobe, so you couldn't see them. So seeing as I've got to have drawers out, I'm now going to get actually nice drawers that I like. And what I'm thinking is maybe having the dressing table along here, which I know will stick out more, but it's not too deep. Um, and then having the mirror kind of here. And then a tall chest of drawers. And potentially treating myself to... A television up here which I'm very excited about I've never had a TV in my room ever before but I think that might look quite nice and also because where this is I need the natural light for my makeup but it just blocks out so much of the light coming in the room so yeah I'm thinking by moving this to here and having the natural light coming from down there along with my new addition, my little spotlight. I will be okay in terms of light for doing makeup. I say it's just such a shame though because I love having the mirror here and this kind of like walkway wardrobe thing I've got going on. Yeah, that's what I'm toying with the idea at the moment that I think will be the best solution for the layout and best use of space. That's my room update. I've honestly had so many deliveries arriving at the moment. Um, I panicked on last Friday that I didn't have any stuff ready for Christmas. And I did so many online orders and I had about five deliveries yesterday, one on Tuesday. It's just been absolutely crazy. The, the Yodel and DPD guys are like, hello again. <laughs> like, hello. Must think I have a problem, but no, it's just Christmas. Yeah, I won't show you any of the stuff that I've got for Maddie because I will be doing like a, a children's gift haul. But I will show you um, some other little bits and pieces I've been getting and also for the house. <laughs> I literally just got another delivery. <laughs> I had to run off and answer the door as a DPD man again. It's like, hello again, miss. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Oh God, okay. Right. So while I'm up here, I'll show you some of the clothing bits I've been getting first, and then we'll go downstairs and do more like the homeware stuff. This is basically gonna be like a little mini ASOS haul within the vlog. There is a lot of sparkle going on here. Cause you know what, to be honest guys, given the utterly appalling and just depressing year we've all had even though i'm not going anywhere i'm having my family over here which is allowed i still want to dress up i've always been someone that loves to dress up on christmas day regardless of covid and things and i wanted something new and sparkly and just to feel good after a pretty rotten year so i did a little asos order on black friday of some different dresses and things i've not even had the chance to try them on just yet so i thought i'd share them with you now and i'm hoping to make a little fashion reel of them over on my Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, the link to my page is in the description box below. And I will also link all these items here as well for you guys. So if you wanted to shop any of them, you can. Hopefully they're still in stock if you like them. First up, let's go for some gold. Let's go straight in there. Okay, oh, okay. So this is a plunge dress. It's got long sleeves, um, the two layers for the skirt, and it's got a wrap around to go around the waist detail there as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with gold at Christmas, can you? I just thought that was really pretty. I'm not normally good with the whole plungy thing because I am part of the itty bitty titty committee and I don't really always pull it off and sometimes it just looks a bit sad. There. <laughs> uh, but this is a size six and it's a petite. So fingers crossed it won't be too gappy or anything, but um, I don't know, I kind of just normally avoid plunges altogether because they just don't work with my body shape. Um, so once I've got it on, we will see. I probably won't be trying them on with you guys right now. I might show you later when I put it on for the reel, 
might give you a little sneak peek in each of them later on but um yeah i just haven't got the time right now okay next we have i think this is pretty much the same dress in terms of the style plunge with the two frills but yes it is this is exactly the same dress we're exactly the same brand but it's in this gorgeous like bronze rose gold color yes yeah, so the same shape and style long sleeves tie waist but in this gorgeous rose gold sequins instead this one looks bigger size six is it a petite again oh this one's not petite this is just size six so we might have a bit of a problem with the old like i just said well we'll just have to see later when i try it on Next is a velvety number. This one's a lovely long sleeved sort of rich red burgundy. No, you know, it's not burgundy. It's like a wine red. It's a wine red. But yeah, it's a V with a wrap and it's this beautiful deep velvet red dress. I love that it's long sleeves. It is a fitted dress. So I'm not sure how I feel about wearing this one on Christmas Day with the whole roast dinner situation. But it is stretchy which is good. So this could be a good thing. I think that might look quite nice on actually. Oh, this one next I really liked the look of, but I think I prefer it in the other color. So again, I've got the same dress twice, but in different colors. This one is by Pretty Lavish and it is a high neck. Now I do like a high neck. V-necks do not suit me, but high necks do. It's probably why I feel more excited about this dress. So it looks a bit like just a square tent like this right now, but it's got beautiful cuffed puffed sleeves. And then it's got a tie that goes around the waist. So it'll cinch it in and have that really nice kind of loose overhang. I'd say this is more of like a champagne sequin. It's not silver because I don't, like I said earlier, I don't like silver. But this is nice and it's got a nice nudie under. <gasps> oh, it's see-through. You're going to need more than nude underwear with that. We'll have to see when it's on. So this is the one I was most excited about and what I think I will probably be wearing on Christmas Day. If it fits. If it fits. And this one is, it's by, I think it's by Style Cheat. So it's by a different brand but it's basically the same dress. But in a gorgeous deep green. Yeah, this one's no, nowhere near as see-through because it's dark colours. Which is good better quality but yeah so it's basically the same dress in terms of shape and style it's got the cuffed puff sleeves again and it also comes with a wraparound belt this belt is velour black velour on majority of it and then just the ends a sequin which i actually think is really smart because otherwise this bit would be catching on the main sequin dress all the time and last but not least in this christmas dress up thing we've got going on <gasps> Oh, this is gorgeous. This is by a brand called Lace and Beads. And it's actually a little sequin top. And it's in like a, well, the colour on the bag says top, but it's more like a rosy gold. Like a dusky pink rose gold. Um, and it's got this beautiful, I've got to show you the detail up close. It's got these beautiful flowers with diamantes in them. And then the rest of it is sequin. Again, high neck, which I love. And then it's got a lovely cutout in the back. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I hope this fits and looks nice. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit of a different option to have a cute sparkly top that you could then wear with some bottoms. If and when we're ever allowed back out again and the world goes normal, it'd be a nice thing to throw on with a pair of jeans to glam up to go out for dinners or drinks, eventually. <laughs> and then I actually got two pairs of shoes from ASOS too. So first is this pair of black heels from Topshop. They're like the spaghetti strap kind of minim minimalistic heels with a square toe i don't own any heels like this and i remember seeing them everywhere and thinking oh i don't know if they'll be my thing and they were going out of stock in asos just like that like so quick and i bought them once and i tried them and i thought yes i really like them and there's something i don't know why but i sent i decided to send them back maybe it was because we were in the middle of lockdown still and i thought well, i have no need for another black pair of heels just send them back Beth. it's you know it's no point having them and then when I was buying the dresses, I saw that these had come back in stock. And with Black Friday, they were even cheaper than when I first bought them. So I was like, well, that's a sign. I need to get the shoes again. And I've got them for cheaper. So I got the shoes again. Again, hopefully I will get to wear them at some point out. And then lastly from ASOS, I got myself... Oh, I love them. I got myself a pair of like biker boots, but they have this cuff around the front of the boot in front of the laces. And I love that the hardware is gold on these. 
I've got a really nice pair of military type boots like this from Zara that I bought about two years ago. But they've got silver hardware and silver diamantes and studs all over them. They are really cool and I love them still. But I don't always want the statement of them and I wear a lot of gold. Like I said, I'm not really a silver person and the hardware on my handbags is gold. So I wanted something with gold on it to go with that a little bit more. Yeah, I love those. I'm really excited to wear them. So as I said, I will link everything down below if you are interested in picking anything up yourself that you've seen and you like. Hopefully everything's still in stock in most sizes. So now I'll just show you a couple of homey bits. Oh, I have a bin. I finally have a kitchen bin. It feels like a posh one. It was fairly expensive for a kitchen bin, but I wanted a nice, solid, secure kitchen bin, particularly after the mousy problems we had. And then a couple of homey Christmas bits I got, ready to host on Christmas day, which I'm so excited about. Um, I got these beautiful beaded gold um, placemats from Dunelm. They're 15 pounds for two, so I got four. Um, I wanted to get another one, but they literally sold out. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. And then I got four coasters as well, which were eight pounds that match nicely. Um, they do also have them in a silver and a, a deep gray. And I'm thinking I might get another set in the deep gray to then alternate with, uh, because four won't be enough. And I know Maddie will kick off if she is left out. But yeah, I thought those were beautiful. I finally got myself some new champagne flutes and wine glasses. Um, I got these Darlington crystal ones and I bought them from John Lewis. I'll get them out so you can see the shape. But what I was so happy about is that they come in a set of six. Because a lot of like glassware comes in sets of four and four's not always quite enough. But you don't want to end up buying two and then have eight, which seems a bit excessive. So yeah, I was really happy that they came in a set of six. So these are the Prosecco or Champagne flutes. I like the sort of square bottom of them and how long and thin they are at the top. Yeah, I just thought they were a really nice shape and very much looking forward to sipping on some champagne at Christmas from those. And then I got the wine glasses version, but unfortunately when they were getting delivered, two of them have broken. So I'm going to go and do an exchange in store. I've called up and sorted that out already, but I just need to get to town. And um, yeah, they've got a replacement there for me. But then here are the wine glasses. And again, they've got, I love that they've got this kind of squared off bottom to them and they're not like typical rounded wine glasses. I've got my beautiful anthropology um, wine glasses, but they're kind of more like a summery rose and white wine glass. And I wanted something for a red. I've really been enjoying a glass of red wine at the end of the day, which is probably a habit I shouldn't really be getting into, but it's Christmas, so. And it's 2020, so I'll just let that one slide for a bit. Oh, I also finally got a crockery set. Hold on. So if you watched my last vlog, you remember me saying how I wanted to go for more gold and kind of a rustic-y crockery set. I sold my old plates and bowls uh, when I moved house. And I've been looking and searching online everywhere, like everywhere. And I kept finding ones I really like, but they were all not dishwasher safe because they all had like bits of gold on them or the detail on them they were like hand wash only hand wash only i was thinking i don't want a hand wash i've got a dishwasher i want something i can chuck in the dishwasher and i actually ended up getting the most simple basic set from dunelm but i love them so i've just gone from a really nice plain white set so it's got this kind of little heart detail around the edge that feels quite country and cute. I thought, you know what, that does the job, that's all I need. And the bowl's a nice, decent shape and size too, and they weren't too expensive. If they break, I can easily replace them. So yeah, I ended up just going for a basic Dunelm set, but I actually really quite like it. I was sensible Sally with that one for once. How are we doing for time? Um, so yeah, that's enough of the things that I have been buying to show you guys. Anyway, I better have a bite to eat, because it's quarter to one and then head back to work for my next two clients, get my workout in, and then finish off for my last two clients. Good evening, guys. Oh, so I've not long got home. Um, Maddie's all settled and in bed, and I just had a little catch up with mum um, ooh, about how she was doing um, and mum's just left so I'm going to get myself some dinner then I'm going to film this reel and so I'll show you what all the dresses look like on um, I'm absolutely shattered I didn't actually end up getting to work out because one of my clients had to move their session 
so I, I slotted them in at four o'clock, which was when I was going to train, so oh well got the clients done which was the main thing yeah it's been a long day um i only work three days a week but they are very long days i often start like six o'clock in the morning and finish about this sort of time like seven eight ish at night so i'm tired <laughs> i'm gonna get myself some food and uh yeah just get on with things so i can then crash and relax and get myself off to bed so looks like we are going for soup is this in date still? It's in date still. Bought this with the intention of having it for two meals, but I'm gonna eat it all now because I'm hungry. Oh God. Okay guys, we're going for a plan B because this was actually rank. I thought it'd be really nice. And it really, really wasn't. I took one spoonful and was like, nope. Um, so I'm going to get, we're gonna go for some brown basmati rice. These gosh, uh, broad bean and quinoa bites. So they're like falafels in a frozen. I need to heat them up. Chuck in some peas. Oh, I'm gonna have some pesto as well. Where did I put the pesto? Uh, oh, actually, I think it's back in this cupboard. <laughs> I'm still learning where everything is. Aha, with pesto. Okay, guys, showing you the dresses as I go. This is the rose gold one um that was a size six but not petite um it is quite booby but it's not as big as i thought it would be um sorry i'm, whis I'm like half whispering because maddie's asleep but yeah it's a really beautiful beautiful dress oh i love it okay guys so i've got the gold version on next and this is definitely the petite one you can tell the difference in the length it's just a much more flattering length um, on my short little legs. Um, again, it is still very booby and quite open here. I'd probably tack it sort of here just to just to be on the safe side. But yeah, I think I prefer the colour of the rose gold one, but the shape and fit of the gold one. So, hmm, I'm not sure about these ones, whether I'll keep them or not, which one's going to be the Christmas Day dress. Next, we have the velvety red number, and I absolutely love all the elements. I just don't like the execution. So like, I love the material, I love that it's stretchy, I love this uh, wrap kind of detail to it. However, this side keeps rocking up like this. It doesn't stay put, and I feel like it's a really awkward neck height V. It kind of needs to be either here or not be there. Do you know what I mean? And also, this, is asking for an accident and an indecent moment. So yeah, like I said, I love all the elements of the dress. Just, it doesn't quite work. So yeah, this is, isn't the one, but it is still a gorgeous dress. Next, we have this like champagne-y gold one. And you know what? I love the style of it. I think this is my favorite style so far, but it's just so big. Like if I undid this belt thing, it's it's just too much for me and it is really quite see-through i've got nude underwear on luckily but yeah i think if they just made it a little bit smaller then it'd be okay but there's only so much like cinching in you can do with a belt it's <laughs> yeah it's a bit like a night dress without it otherwise beautiful dress don't get me wrong just a bit too big for me <laughs> okay guys this is it the green one. Oh my gosh I love it so much but it's a lot smaller than the the, sil the other version of this the silvery one so there's a lot less excess material and also I'm sorry but this having this as that velour strap is such a genius idea because it means the sequins don't keep catching on each other I'm trying to be so careful trying on all these dresses because they keep catching yeah this is it it's comfy but I feel super glamorous in it and there's space for roast dinner, and it's just a bit different and sparkly. And this one actually does have a lining in it in the main body bit. The arms don't. You can see there, it's like a little bit see-through, but the main body doesn't, which is great. Um, so yeah, design-wise, this, well, this one is so much better. I'm so happy with it. Oh, I'm so pleased I got it. Okay, and last but not least is this top. Oh my gosh, it is incredible i am 100 keeping this these were some trousers that i got from new look 
for my best friend's Hendu last summer and I couldn't find a top that matched them. Um, and now I have. I kept them anyway because they're such a lovely fit um, for trousers like this for someone petite like me. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't get over this top and how gorgeous this outfit all looks together. Um, I don't think this will be a Christmas Day outfit. This would be more like a New Year's Eve outfit or if and when we can finally go out for drinks and things. But yeah, I this is such a good outfit. I am 100% keeping it, no matter what, because... I love this. I feel, I feel good in it as well. And I just love the back of it so much. So this and the green dress, I think are absolute definites. But let me know your favorites in the comments, guys. Well, that was rather a lot of fun playing dress up, wasn't it? It's now just gone 10, so I'm going to have a little bit of time sat on the sofa. I've got my laptop ready to start doing some editing. I've just got the fire going and I've also poured myself just a little glass of red um just to see me off for the night so i'm going to love you and leave you here because i feel like this vlog is going to be quite a long one i hope it's not too long and you enjoy it thank you so much for watching guys and if you're not already make sure you subscribe before you leave and i'll see you in my next video good night